The truth is this. Police reform is long overdue. And Mr. Floyd's murder is just the most recent murder. This is not just about Mr. Floyd's murder. It's about being here before, many, many times before. It is about a long list that has been all across this country that always makes the same point, injustice against minorities in America by the criminal justice system. And today is about enough is enough. It's about Fannie Lou Hamer. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. How many times do you have to see the same case before you do something? How many times? This was Eric Garner. This was Abner Louima. It was Amadou Diallo. Same case over and over and over, and still no change. And Mr. Floyd's murder, God bless this country for standing up and saying enough is enough. I respect them, but it goes back certainly to Rodney King in modern times. And the truth is it goes back to Dr. Martin Luther King, 1968. It is systemic discrimination and injustice in this nation. That's what it is. That's what today is about. And the answer, there is no quick fix to this. There is no, well, stop tear gas. Uh, well, change the uniforms. That's not what this is about, my friends. And it would be a mistake if we went down that path. This is systemic reform of police departments. This is sitting down and taking a look at exactly what they do and have been doing and looking at it through a new lens of reform and reinvention because this has been 40, 50 years in the making. Providing police with military equipment, increasing the number of police, goes back to the 90s and the crime bills. Looking at the population explosion in our prisons, this was a long time coming. And this is not about a press release that's going to solve it. The way we really solve this is we say to every police agency in this state, I believe it should happen in the nation, Sit down at the table with the local community, address these issues, get to the root of these issues, get a plan, pass that plan by your local government, and if you don't, you're not going to get any additional state funds, period. We're not going to fund police agencies in this state that do not look at what, is, look at what has been happening, come to terms with it, and reform themselves. We're not going to be, as a state government, subsidizing improper police tactics. We're not doing it. And this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to sign an executive order today. We'll require local governments and police departments all across the state, about 500, to develop a plan that reinvents and modernizes police strategies and programs in their community. They must formulate a plan. They have to address the use of force by police officers, crowd management, community policing, bias awareness, de-escalation, restorative justice, community-based outreach. They have to have a transparent citizen complaint disposition procedure. So if you make a complaint, it's not just yelling out the window. You find out what happened to that complaint. They should talk about appropriate equipment, what's not appropriate equipment, and any other issue that that community believes is relevant. That discussion has to happen with the community participants in the room. That plan then has to be enacted into local law. Every city, every county, it has to be done by April 1. If it's not done by April 1 and if it's not passed, they're not going to be eligible for state funding. Period. And look, it's simple. This is something that has to be done anyway. Because what we know is certainly true is there is no trust between the community and the police. That's what the protests have said. There's no trust. And if there is no trust, the relationship doesn't work. If there's no trust, the police can't effectively police. 
If there's no trust, the community is not going to allow the police to police. And there is no trust, or there is a breach of the trust, and that has to be restored and repaired. And the only way to do it is to get in a room, get to the table, let everyone say their piece, and let's figure it out community by community all across this state. It will be statewide. No other state has done it, but New York State will lead the way because New York is New York tough, smart, united, disciplined, and loving.